All right, here we are in a beautiful Las Vegas, uh, Nevada morning. Very cool, looking at a 1933 Ford all-steel two-door sedan. Roy Brizio built street rod, very nicely done. Uh, still in the hands of the gentleman that had it built at Brizio. Uh, walk around and tell you about it like we usually do. Finished in a really cool, uh, kind of a candy, a lime candy. Very nicely done, has a lot of metallic in it. Uh, all the paint and flames were done by Art, Art Hemsel. Uh, exceptionally nice fit of the body panel. All the body panels on it. The uh, all the metal, metal work on the car was done by Marcel. Has a custom aluminum hood on it. Uh, steel hood sides. Uh, has uh, I think these are early Chevy style headlamps, but they are a composite in nature. All the fenders are steel, and the running boards are steel. Has a lot of neat features on it. We'll get around and cover the engine compartment here shortly and uh, tell you more about it as we cruise around here on the back here. Power antenna, pop-up fuel door right down there. Do our typical walk around for you. Billet Specialties wheels uh, directional style with the uh, very cool machining. We'll spend a little bit more time up on the lift for you there. The exhaust comes out on both sides. You can see in the sun here, this camera might be off a little bit color wise, so make sure you go to Spud's Garage. Our still photos are likely to be closer to the color. Car has about 10,000 miles on it, uh, been built about 20 years, uh, but it was upgraded about five years ago. The powertrain car was sent back to Brizio's shop where they upgraded to a uh, 347 cubic inch uh, Edelbrock crate engine, Ford power underneath the hood, C4 automatic. A uh, very, very cool car. If you like attention, you'll get it with this one. Has fully independent suspension up front, Kugel suspension out back. Uh, so it has four-wheel independent, it has independent Jag suspension in the rear. I know the sun's a little bit weird here, but uh, we've had a little bit of rain on and off today, so... Very special car. It costs you... You know what it costs you to build this car today. Very, very... Uh, Special build. It's owned by a gentleman that owned Ford dealerships and uh, still in his hands here. We'll spend some time underneath the hood like we usually do. The doors have been suicided on it. Again, these are all steel running boards and fenders. Nice peep mirrors, body color. The whole chassis is the body color also. Uh, the uh, interior was uh, Sid Chaver's interior in it. Very nice, uh, very well built car, preserved wise too. Spotlessly kept, petted and protected as I like to say. Uh, nice seats on seat tracks here, fully adjustable front to rear. If you're, if you're a tall dude or a short dude, either way you're gonna be covered in this car. Uh, it has shoulder seat, shoulder restraint style seat belts on it. Again, we mentioned all the power equipment and stuff. Back seat, uh, cool AC. They've added AC vents up here. This top itself, uh, chopped by Marcel. I'm gonna guess it's about four inches or so, just for me to step back three to four inches window. Three and a half, but it's uh, very acceptable. Not overdone. Nice little package shelf here. You can see where the flames are on the dash. They match the outside of the car. Power windows. This switch here is for the rear window. The rear window actually goes up and down. There are some AC vents in the back. Not sure how those work. Again, built with safety and modern Kenwood audio in the dash here. Thought I'd mention too that uh, once we open the hood, I'll share it with you. These flames actually flow down into the firewall and, and it's really, really, really nice. Bill of specialty wheels. There are 17s in the rear, 15s in the front. Has just a bitchin' stance. This is one you can most certainly drive. It's been driven uh, and protected at the same time. Obviously high quality build. Nice little uh, recessed tail lights here or behind the, uh, the even this is a steel panel on it. Uh, recess license plate, uh, flush mounted, backside mounted tail lights on it. Nice little flame. 
Barkle and Hemsel in 01. The car was completed in 01. Our antenna, fuel door, we already kind of walked and talked about that. Colors coming out, I'm looking at the screen here, a little brighter, maybe a little greener than it really, uh, uh, but it's very lime and a lot of metallic in it. Again, the suicide doors. Just inviting you right in there. See how the flames follow into the jam here. Billet aluminum uh, tilt steering column. Budnick steering wheel. Turn metal dash with gold accents. 9582 on the odom odometer at the time of inspection. The engine's been recently upgraded and powertrained by within the last five years. Not a lot of miles on it since that time. You better get in here. <laughs> Got a nice sound to it. We haven't really had a chance to warm it up. Oil pressure is 50 pounds. It's, you know, sitting just at under 150, 125 water temp. Battery's charging at 14 volts. Fuel gauge at a half tank. Turn the volume down. You heard the radio works there. We have to turn it down because of YouTube. as a uh, clock. And a fuel PSI gauge. Push button style shifter here. Has even the gold accent in it. Got a nice healthy sound. I mentioned the AC vents here up top. We'll get you underneath the hood way too much fun underneath the hood here kind of see how the flames splash off the firewall and flow up and actually they flow when the hood shut you know obviously you can see what happens there so they flow all the way out from the firewall and on the top side of the hood underneath the hood here is a uh, about a 13 to 15 thousand dollar engine and in, uh, itself it's an Edelbrock crate engine we'll have the part number and everything at Spud's garage um, Installed by Roy Brizio's Street Rod Shop. Uh, not a lot of miles on it since that portion of the upgrade of the powertrain like we talked about during the walk around. Uh, 347 cubic inch Edelbrock crate engine, which is a small block, stroke small block. Um, has a uh, billet specialties uh, serpentine belt drive up front here. Uh, jet or a uh, RPM air gap intake manifold. It has Edelbrock uh, electronic fuel injection, throttle body style, modern high amp alternator on it, uh, headers, jet hot coated headers. You'll see that the block is finished body color, so there was no expense spared in the install of the engine. Just the install of the engine and the re power training of it with the C4 automatic was 30 grand. Um, so there was no corners cut in the repower. And again, again, done by the builder. Fin tag is down here on the frame rail. It's an 18-239-3449. All braided lines, uh, like we talked about during on the undercarriage. We haven't got there yet, but you'll see the rack down there for the uh, Kugel front suspension. The hood only opens on this side, I believe. We'll kind of just kind of peek around here. We're not going to try the other side low car style dipstick tubes that kind of thing polished recovery uh, electric cooling fan we're gonna fire it up here for you see how the butterflies open up 
Give it a little bit. get you the undercarriage here like we talked about during the walk around we always try and get it up on a lift and able to get that done uh, very nice Brazil built car quality you would expect um, fully independent rear suspension inboard disc brakes jag rear suspension everything's been chrome plated uh, Build special these wheels. We'll get around to the outside and cover those. They're kind of neat. So quad coil over shocks on it. Everything's finished body color. The uh, candy lime. Very nicely done. Uh, Brazil built chassis. Assembled. Nice uh, Magnaflow uh, glass pack style mufflers with some uh, resonators on the back here to tone it down a little bit uh, four wheel disc brakes, power disc brakes, power master right here polished stainless brake lines this is the access for the door uh, emergency access or access we're actually doing this video before we do the walk around on it it is all steel even the running boards has two battery cutoffs on it, one battery jump point here or access point here. There's a jump point or a battery on off and there's also one at the tail of the car. Turn around and give you a feel at the uh, assembly here. As we talked about during the walk around, uh, whole new powertrain was installed in this car about five years ago um, it was sent back to Brizio to install a new powertrain in it had a big block before now it has a uh, Edelbrock crate engine uh, 347 cubic inch small block C4 automatic transmission all is custom exhaust all uh, jet hot coated or ceramic coated nice take it out in sections if you want braided stainless lines go a little slow so you can study it some uh, fully independent front suspension chrome pl plated tubular control arms uh, Willwood style disc brakes up front here rack and pinion steering uh, the uh, trans cooler up front here where it can get some air that's very nice you'll see the air conditioning lines are all run down low receiver dryers right here you'll see where the braided lines come in from the frame there for the oil cooler and they run back to the tranny very well taken care of uh, pro built street rod get you up front here Chin is very nice. Only a little tiny bump mark on it, but that's some nice steel. These are all steel fenders here up front. Look down low. One more pass through. We'll get all the specs and details at Spud's Garage. This is just kind of a cursy, quick overview. You look at the custom built brackets here that they put together. Look at the welds on this. These motor mounts are nice. The steering joint fault goes through the motor mount. Just catch stuff every time I walk through, I see something new. Anyway, there you go. Make sure you go to Spud's Garage. All right, we said we'd go around the outside here and cover the wheels for you. Very cool. I don't think I've seen any uh, milled like this. Uh, very nice billet specialty wheels. Uh, date codes on the tires are all current that kind of thing within uh, five years 23rd 23rd week of 16 Eagle uh, LS Goodyear is on it the way the exhaust comes out the running boards here is very cool there's that release again for the door up front here go around the other side and we'll get to actually cover the tire sizes same date code within the same region I think these are late 
2015. Tire size is a uh, 185 60R15 up front. Again, the wheels. These directional uh, wheels are cool with the uh, machining on them. And the back tire size we'll get here are 235 60R17, so 17s and 15s.